Okay, so uh, these are typically my notes for the human body. Um, you guys are gonna get this sheet of paper from Miss Haddad, and typically we would just fill in the blanks together. But right now, um, I'm going to type in red, and whatever I type in red, then obviously is what I would like for you to write on the blank. So uh, we're gonna break up the human body into um, like different systems. We're not really responsible for the systems exactly, but we are responsible for each organ. And the easiest way for me to do this is just so that we can remember key giveaway words for each organ. Every organ, especially if you look at Quizlet, um, like these would be giveaway words. So your kidneys, they form urine, okay? So those are giveaway words. Stomach would be bag-shaped and churns food. Those are giveaway words. So if all we can do, not all we can do, but if what we can do is get through the fill in the blank notes, we're really going to work, oops, wrong tab, um, with the cards on Quizlet and we're going to eventually end up playing uh, organ bingo so that we can hear keywords, we can see keywords, and we know exactly what organ they are talking about. So for right now, what am I doing? Here I am. I'm going to go through and I am going to type um, in red and whatever I type in red is what I need you to print with your pencil on the line because we're going to glue these in so that we have them in our notebook. Uh, but mostly after this is done, we're going to practice. So Organs of the human body. The human body is made up of dozens of organs. Organs are the blank of your body. That blank needs to be the word workers. So let me fix this. So I'm gonna make this red and we'll make it bold, okay? So you're just gonna write workers on the line, W-O-R-K-E-R-S. The next thing says organs carry out blank. That blank needs to be the word specific. They carry out specific jobs as you learn and grow. Oops. Am I making a mess? There we go. <laughs> okay. So S P E C I F I C. Organs carry out specific jobs as you learn and grow. Your body is made out of trillions of cells. Cells are grouped together to form tissues. Tissues form blank. Your blank is organs. O-R-G-A-N-S. So I'm just gonna make it red so it's easy to see. Done. So remember, if there's any time where I'm going too fast, just pause me. Okay, get down what you need and then we'll go from there. There are two organs in your body that work in systems and help you move. These organs are your, first is skeleton, oops, sorry, and then your second blank uh, is gonna be muscles. So skeleton is S-K-E-L-E-T-O-N, and then muscles is M-U-S-C-L-E-S. -E So the two things in your body that help you move are your skeleton, which is your bones, fancy word for bones, and the muscles in your body. Okay, not a big deal so far. Remember, if you need to pause me, pause me. All right, so um, today we're gonna go through um, the four jobs that your skeleton has, and then the three types of muscles that are in our body. So your skeleton. Uh, our skeleton, which is just a big fancy word for all the bones in your body, it has four main jobs. So one of its jobs is to support your body and to give you shape. So that first blank here is just the word support, S-U-P-P-O-R-T. It's mostly so that you're not a lump of skin on the floor, okay? It's the reason you can stand up straight, you can sit down, you can do a cartwheel, you can jump on the trampoline, ride your bike, whatever, okay? It provides your body with support and it gives you shape. What I mean when I say gives you shape is that every human 
we all kind of very much not look the same because we all look different, but our bodies are all made the same. Okay, we each have two arms, two legs, that type of stuff. So we know what a human shape looks like. That's what I mean. Um, your second blank is the word protects. Okay, so it protects your internal organs, like your brain, your heart, and your lungs. Now, if you think about it, the reason that your head is hard is because that's your skull. So, well, I'm hitting my head, but you can't see me. Um, if you think about the sides, your rib cage, okay, your rib cage is there to protect all of your internal organs. So, your lungs, your kidneys. Uh, when I was little, my brother, he was super, super into wrestling. And he would just like walk into a room and me and my sister knew that like he was gonna try to do something weird to us. So he would try like to do these weird wrestling moves and then, you know, he would eventually get in trouble because you're not supposed to hit a girl. And, uh, but he would like try to tackle us or like wrestle us, it's okay. But if you've ever, been like hit in the side of your body if somebody's hit you in the side uh, the reason that your rib cage is there is to protect stuff like your lungs and your kidneys and that's its job the reason that your head is hard is because it protects your brain that way if you clunk your head into something or someone hits you in the head or whatever your brain is there I mean your skull is there to protect your brain so skeleton your bones provides you with support protects your internal organs it also is responsible for storing substances, okay? Anything that's important to your body, stuff that your body needs, your bones, your skeleton, it'll hang on to all that stuff. So it stores it, keeps it for when you need it. Last but not least, oh no, last but not least, if I could talk, it makes red blood cells, okay? And those red blood cells are what uh, help you fight off germs. So give me one second, let me fix this blank here. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay. So your skeleton, your bones, four main jobs. Support your body and give it shape. Protect your internal organs. Store substances. Makes red blood cells. And this is just something I'm giving you. An adult human body has 206 bones of different shapes and sizes. You don't need that information. These are what we need. So these would be giveaways for us, okay? If someone is saying, um, this organ supports your body, protects your internal organs, stores, steps, stores substances, and makes red blood cells, those are our key giveaway words that let us know that they're talking to us about the skeleton. All right, your muscles. We're gonna do, um, well, there's three types of muscles that we have, so we have to go through that, but we're gonna fill in the blanks here. So our muscles are responsible for every move that our body makes. Uh, muscles move your blank. I'm just forgetting what my blank needs to be. Yikes. I'm forgetting my blank. Your blank and your blank are both controlled by muscles. Mm. Really wasn't being very... Uh, descriptive here for myself okay I'm just gonna say for right now muscles move your body I mean they do so I don't know if that's exactly the word that I was wanting to put on that line but I mean it makes sense muscles would move our body I'm trying to think of exactly what I wanted to put here, but honestly, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, everything in your body is controlled by muscles, okay? Your heart is controlled by muscles. Your eyes are controlled by muscles. Your lungs are controlled by muscles. Everything is controlled by muscles, okay? All your organs are controlled by muscles, but uh, we can just put heart and eyes, and then if I figure out exactly what I wanted to put there, we can change it some other time, but... They are, your heart and your eyes, they both are controlled by muscles. Um, and I have even breathing, speaking, digestion, so eating food and digesting food. Um, the pupils of your eyes, they're all controlled by your muscles. There are three different kinds of muscles that make the movements in your body. So we have skeletal muscles, smooth muscles, cardiac muscles. Skeletal muscles, they are the muscles that are attached to your skeleton. 
Okay, that's why it says skeletal. Just a big giveaway there. Skeletal, skeleton, those things go together. Remember that skeletal, skeleton, it's just a fancy word for bones. So these muscles, they're connected to, on this blank, type your bones. Or not type, you write, I'm typing, your bones. Oops. Oh, my battery's dying. That's not good. Okay. I gotta plug my phone in. Um, there we go. These muscles, it's, this is the word voluntary. Okay, voluntary means that we decide when we're going to move them. So no one's gonna force you to stand up. No one's gonna force you to sit down. Um, if you are laying on your bed and you decide you wanna get up and get a drink of water, get a snack, go to the bathroom, whatever, whether you realize it or not, you are making your body move. If someone throws you the ball in speed ball, whether you realize it or not, your brain is sending signals to your arms and your hands like, hey, you need to move, you need to catch this ball. Hey, you need to grab the ball. Hey, you need to throw the ball. That's all coming from your brain. But it, when your brain says, sends messages throughout your body and your body responds, all the muscles that are attached to your arms, to your legs, to any bone in your body, they're all voluntary which means whether you realize it or not, we are deciding to move. So if you hit a ball in baseball, if you throw the ball at somebody, if you're playing dodgeball in PE or playing kickball or whatever, whether you realize it, your brain is sending signals throughout your body and your body is responding. But you're not just gonna get up out of nowhere and start wandering around the room when that's not what you wanna do. Okay, you're not gonna open the door unless it's something that you want to do and your body responds to the messages that your brain sends. So any muscle that's attached to your bone, that's a voluntary muscle, which means it's not going to do anything until your body tells it to, your brain's gonna tell it to. Okay, voluntary is fancy, which means you decide to move it. It's just, you're doing it, like a volunteer. They decide they wanna help out. That's what voluntary means, you are deciding. So our example, when you pick up a heavy object, you can see your arm muscles bulge. Most of you probably can. Most of you probably have bigger muscles than I do. All right, smooth muscles, such as the blank and the blank. We can put stomach and liver. I don't know if that's exactly what I wanted to have here, but they work. Um, your smooth muscles are any muscle that any of your internal organs are made out of. So your liver, your stomach, your bladder, okay, kidneys, they, those are all smooth muscles. So we can put stomach and liver on those two blanks. Um, these muscles are involuntary, which means that they work on their own. You don't have to do anything. So, oops. You're not gonna have to tell your stomach to churn the food that you just ate, which means mix it all together with all those gases and, and acidic juices that are inside of your stomach. It just does it on its own, okay? You're not gonna have to tell your liver that it needs to secrete bile, which is a job of the liver. It does it on its own. So anything that's an internal organ, your stomach, your liver, your kidneys, stuff like that, your pancreas, all of those are involuntary or they're made of involuntary muscles, which means thankfully, you don't have to think about making them work. They just work on their own. So involuntary means you don't have to think about it. I tell you what, grab your highlighter out of your pencil pouch because up here, I wanna highlight the word uh, voluntary and I wanna highlight where it says you decide to move them. Okay, so you're gonna highlight those two things on your paper. Down here, because voluntary and involuntary, we are responsible for the difference of those words. I'm gonna highlight involuntary. Uh, and then I'm gonna highlight these last little words here. Oops, no, no, no. Sorry. That say uh, they work on their own. There we go. Do that for me. The last set of muscles that we have uh, in our body, because we only have three, we have skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. And cardiac is actually a fancy word for heart. 
So your cardiac muscles, the only place you have cardiac muscles are uh, in your heart. So your blank, your heart is the blank, is the only organ made out of cardiac muscles. Okay, this muscle is involuntary, which means luckily, ooh, not typing, there we go. Luckily, we don't have to uh, worry about making it work. Your heart's always gonna work, it's always pumping blood. Okay, relaxing and contracting, pushing blood out to your body, taking, ooh, sorry, uh, blood back in um, Yeah So your heart is the only organ made out of your cardiac muscle because cardiac is actually a fancy word for heart and uh, That is thankfully an involuntary muscle, which means it works on its own. You don't have to worry about it The last thing I'm gonna have you do right now is fill in these uh, two big things and I'm Trying to think about what I wanted to have here, but give me one second. Sorry. I'm shaky. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, our bodies, and I'll fix these lines in just a second, so you're typing and then I'll hold it for you. Our bodies, um, I'm going to put have movement. Because of our skeleton. And our muscles. I'm gonna get rid of these lines for myself just because so it makes it look a little bit nicer and it might be easier for you to see. So you had lines and a bullet point and on that first bullet point, I want you to write down, our bodies have movement because of our skeleton and our muscles. So if there's ever anything that says, what helps your body move, what makes your body move, your skeleton and your muscles do. The next big thing that I'm gonna write down is that there are three different types of muscles within, your, within our bodies. And let me get rid of these lines. So you should have had two spots, two bullet points under the big things. Um, that first bullet point says our bodies have movement because of our skeleton and our muscles. It's two organs that help our body move. And there are three different types of muscles within our body. Skeletal muscles, which means they're attached to your skeleton. They are voluntary. We make them move. Smooth muscles, which is what our internal organs are made out of. They are involuntary, which means they work all on their own. And cardiac muscles, which is what our heart is made out of. These are also involuntary. I'm gonna highlight that again. And it just means that they work on their own. So thankfully we don't have to worry about that. Your heart's gonna work, okay? Just works on its own. All right, please make sure that you have all the blanks for uh, that first part filled in. And we will worry about digestion tomorrow.